Welcome back. My name is Andy Melendrez and I'm your Ward 2 City Council member and also the host of Shop Local, Shop Small, Riverside. And today we're at Arcade Coffee here in the East Side community. And Miguel, take a look at this billboard here, or this sign, this A-frame sign. And then also come around here and take a look at the front of the building. And this actually was a building that seemed to be underutilized and they've turned it into this great coffee house. And we're gonna go ahead and take a look right on in. And Miguel, why don't you come on in first and take a look at the uh, reception area here. Nice and spacious, a lot of room. <laughs> See the owner waving to us and stuff, a great smell of coffee here in the, in the area. Little study area, relaxation area. And let me go ahead and introduce you to the owner. Hello. How are you, sir? Good, nice good, 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 good to see, good, good, nice good to see, see you. Thanks for, having, for oh, uh, coming over. Great, great to be here. Yeah. Give us your full name. Yeah, so my name's Stephen Hassemeyer. And Stephen, how long have you had the business? Yeah, so we started the business in 2013. Um, we opened over here on the east side in 2017 is when we opened our shop. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's been a wild ride ever since. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I noticed we were looking out front. It didn't look like you had any signage out yeah, there. And how yeah. would people know that this is your place we're, where you sell coffee? Yeah, we're we're an underground coffee shop. Um, we left the name up there um, because we wanted to have it as a reminder that we have to show up every day um, and work for our work for the company and work hard for the name. Um, and uh, if we're if we don't show up every day, then we're going to be irrelevant, like video stores are now, right? Um, Netflix took over and. So that's uh, that's kind of a reminder for us. Yeah. yeah. And how did you come up with the idea starting a coffee house here in, here in the East Side? Yeah, yeah. Um, so I was tired of seeing people leave Riverside, young people, um, and so we wanted to create a place that people uh, my age and younger felt like they could hang out and connect. And so that was really the, the heartbeat of why we wanted to start it. We wanted to start it as a community place for people in the area, um, and then specifically the East Side. Um, and we, we just wanted to be a, a positive influence in this community. Great. And, yeah. and definitely you have been. Yeah. You have you. been. Now, you not only sell coffee here, but do you distribute coffee? We distribute, yes. Yeah. So we do wholesale distribution. Um, we also have a cafe. Um, so those are like our two main parts of the business right now. Oh, great. Well, fantastic. And you do the roasting of your own coffee. Site. We're going to take a look at this we'll over here. Miguel. Let's take a look. And we'll stand here to the back so you can kind of show us a little bit. Miguel, take a look at this. Holy smoke. Yeah, so this is our um, U.S. Roaster Core um, 12 kilo roaster. Um, this is what we first started roasting on. It's in my parents' garage back in the day is actually how I started. I fit this whole thing in their garage. Um, so green coffee beans go in the top um, and they'll roast anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. Um, inside the drum, the drum's about uh, 400 degrees, uh, 450 degrees. Um, drops down into here to cool down. Um, they cool down for about like 10 minutes and then go in buckets, go to the back and uh, bag it up and send it all over Southern California. I actually just shipped a package off to um, Chattanooga, Tennessee. So our coffee is going all over um, the country and um, we were just named the sixth best coffee shop in the nation by Food & Wine magazine. Yeah. So uh, we're making some waves um, here on the east side. The sixth best coffee shop in the nation here in the east side. Yes. And how did you get that? How did they get your name? Um, yeah, so the senior editor of Food & Wine found out about us. Um, he was going around the country and just checking out some of the newer coffee shops. And so he came out and visited us along with a bunch of other cops and uh, shops in Southern California and had a great experience. I mean, he said some really nice stuff about us. Uh, I mean, one, probably one of my favorite lines, he said, if uh, every city had a shop like Arcade, we'd be better for it. Um, so that, that was pretty cool. Um, I mean, that's, that's why we did it, you know? Uh, I mean, we, we wanted to create really incredible coffee, but also just a, a really great atmosphere and good experience for people. Fantastic. Yeah. Now I notice that you've got some computer equipment here yeah, off to yeah. the side. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, I'm going to stand so, over here. Um, this is actually one of the things that's unique about us. So we have different profiles that we can run on our roaster. Um, so all the way down to uh, we can change the temperature or the fan speed, which are the different variables that we have to play with um, along with time um, to make the coffee taste different. 
So this gives us very minute tweaks that we can make to every coffee. So, you know, we'll taste the coffee after we roast it and then we'll say, okay, you know, it tastes a, a little too roasty. So we're going to change um, something in it this time. And so my roaster will, you know, increase the heat or decrease the heat at certain times. And so that's what our, our computer equipment does here. Wow. So, wow. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the menu. I'm looking at the menu here. I'm going to turn around and you have... Yeah, so, um, I mean, this is a tasting room. So we, this is a, a, a different kind of concept in the coffee world. Um, we're kind of taking it from, like, um, breweries or wineries where you'd go in and you'd have a bunch of different um, coffees that you could taste. So the vision for this is that we have all of these, these three different coffees right now that you can pick from, that you can try on bar either as cold brew, espresso or um, filter coffee. So you can try any of these coffees right now um, on any of those brew methods. And it just gives you a wider range um, so that you can tell the difference between a Kenya coffee opposed to a Peru. Um, and we're just trying to elevate the coffee experience, you know, making people more aware of the nuances in the coffee. So that, I mean, that's the whole idea behind specialty coffee is um, the farmers put a lot of work into it. And so instead of us making a bunch of differences and um, changes to the coffee. We're just trying to enhance the good work that they're doing um, and show them for, you know, all, all the all the good effort and stuff that they're doing uh, for the coffee. Oh, great. Yeah. Well, fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much, Stevie. Thanks, Thank Andy, you. For, really appreciate it. Oh, you're very welcome. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and interview some customers out here yeah. and tell us what they think about the coffee. Thank, Thank you so you. much, yeah. Stevie. Take care. Hello. How are you? Hey, good, good. good. How's you? Can you state your full name and tell us what you're doing here today? My name is Seth Four, uh, and I'm working. All right, working in a coffee house. Yeah, yeah. You don't have an office. No, no, I don't. <laughs> we travel for work, so we're on the road about eight months out of the year. And and why is it that you pick uh, arcade? The coffee is amazing. The employees are so fun. We love hanging out with them and just talking about coffee. And uh, we get to drink coffee all over the country. And this is some of our favorite stuff. All so right. yeah, well, good. Good to hear. Yeah. Good to hear. They're also number six on the wine and. A wine and so wine, food and wine. Yeah. 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 How are you today? Good. Good. Give, give us your full name. I'm Emily Hurd. And tell us what you're doing here today. Here working too. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. We love RK Coffee. And tell us the type of work you do. Yeah. We travel the country just speaking at university campuses. And so we do a lot of our office admin work at coffee shops. And um, we're here in Riverside for about a week or two weeks. And we always come back to RK because we right. love it. All right. Well, very good. Another all over the world. All right. I mean, all over the United States, correct? All right. Thank you for joining us today. Miguel, a couple other people we want you to interview here. I'm, I'm not sure if they're working or just playing around, but we'll find out here just a second. How are you? Good, are you? good. good. Yeah. Could you state your whole name, please? Yeah. Uh, Eldon Sondak. And tell us what you're doing here today. I'm just getting work done. So uh, I'm not in school, but I'm doing uh, my own business stuff. I have a clothing line. So okay. um, I kind of come here to draw up some new designs and all that. So This is a business center. We just talked to individuals that are doing their work here, and now you're yeah, doing some. People actually come here to either study or get work done, and so I think that's a common thing. Um, right. to do here yeah well, good. so what do you think about the coffee here oh it's delicious I think they nailed down um, for me at least a good um, taste of the actual coffee and also nice sweetness with um, all of their choices of the syrups that they have and so the drink that I get is a mocha lavender um, with oat milk and so they um, they have oat milk which is what I love and so yeah it's awesome. well, good well good thank you so much yeah, for taking the time yeah. all right we have another individual here now are you working also uh, a little bit yeah I'm planning some stuff for our church in uh, Redlands so yeah for our college event yeah well, well very good and, and what do you think about arcade uh, I love arcade I think the vibes here are really nice like you it's fun to interact with other people as well as you're sitting so it's a really nice environment okay so you are from out of town how did you find out about arcade um, I actually found out about arcade through this guy right here <laughs> he actually told me about it yes to come through and then just to do work and so yeah that's yeah, how i found out you gotta come here you gotta yeah, come here definitely definitely yeah he oh. basically that's what he said <laughs> all right well yeah. good thank you so thank much you for your time thank and you. we have one more individual we want to interview how are you good good could you state your full name please yeah it's chloe amundsen and tell us what you're doing here um i'm just writing a midterm reflection paper just doing some homework all right so so, so we have business taken on over there we have some 
new designs coming out here. We have some planning over here, and now you have studying over here. You're the only one working hard. <laughs> <laughs> and, and tell us about tell us about the uh, the experience you have here at Arcade. Um, I came to Arcade like three years ago, I think, when they first opened, and it was like super bare and minimal. So it's been really cool to like see how they've developed over the years. Um, but yeah, the coffee here is great. It's phenomenal. Love it. Love the vibes. Everything about it. So. Great. And tell us what your favorite coffee is. Um, I always get a latte, like every time. So <laughs> no variation. This is it. They see you coming through the door. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I'm kind of a simple gal. So great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking your time. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Take care. So there you have it. Arcade Coffee in the East Side of Riverside. Come by soon. Thanks for joining us today.